Hello. So let's look at the movement. This one. So what kind of movement was that? A movement like this, I do it again. Maybe you try to do it yourself, this kind of movement. And how do we talk about a movement? Because maybe it's not a movement, maybe it's an action. How would you make somebody do such a movement? But you could say, ah, look over there, look over there. And, and then you would turn the head, that's it. To turn the head, to turn towards something that is pointed out, to turn. And if you feel inside, if you turn towards something, what will it turn? It will turn your, your head, but it will also, if you allow it, it will turn your shoulders. So what does that mean? Turn the shoulder girdle, turn the shoulders, means the right the tip of the right shoulder is going backwards, which means and you can feel that when you turn to the right, the tip of your right shoulder, you can pull your right shoulder backwards, which means that you pull your shoulder blade towards your center, pull towards the spine. On the other side of you, the left shoulder will come forwards. So do this deliberately. Left, the tip of your left shoulder forwards while you turn your head to the right which means your left shoulder blade comes forwards, moves away from your spine, from your middle. So it's almost like you use your arms. So you can use this with your arms in front or with your arms to the side. <laughs> How would you turn with your arms? You could turn your arms. You could turn your right arm. You could turn the arm itself outwards an outwards rotation and the left arm an inward rotation so <laughs> we start to employ a whole lot of ourselves the entire top of the of, of yourself to to turn the eyes they turn as well yes over there or you could do it with force to turn and then what else is turning maybe your pelvis even your pelvis is turning a little bit towards the right when you orient yourself towards the right so maybe your left knee is coming forwards a little bit so you can push your left knee forwards with all the other things to turn to the right or you can pull your right knee backwards in it so when the left knee comes forwards the right knee moves backwards in order to perform this action this task of turning of orienting yourself but where do you turn What's your point of turning? Is it your left sit bone or is it your right sit bone? Can you even go from one sit bone to the other? Can, can you shift your weight from one sit bone to the other? And how do you do this? Are you going to one side like a tree that is falling or are you bending like a bamboo? So when you turn, do you turn towards something? So do you bring your weight onto your right sit bone and your right foot? Or do you turn away from something by turning towards it? By bringing your weight on the left sit bone? <laughs> How do you do it? How does all of this play together? We went through this consciously. So many options and uh, actually if you try it again your turning to the right might have improved a bit, a bit, because you employ everything now, all of you, not just your head and your shoulders and your spine and your pelvis and your legs and your feet, but also your sensing, your mindfulness, your awareness, your, your mind. <laughs> you apply everything in this turning. So this is why it might have become a little bit better, but there's a lot more. There's a back bend involved or a front bend what is it and a side bending and <laughs> that's why we have so many lessons for that to improve something simple like this movement turning the head to the right and that's why we can be so creative with movement so it's not just about strengthening and stretching and repetition but <laughs> it's such a big thing such a big feel just to look at a simple movement like turning the head to the right. I hope you got a little bit curious about yourself and maybe second guess a little bit yourself. Oh, all these things that are taken for granted, <laughs> we can look at them in more detail and of course improve them. So improvement work. I hope this was interesting. 
to you at least a little bit raised your curiosity. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.